And the Kaduna State Governor, Senator Obasani, has flagged off construction of 35 kilometers road to link Gadagayan with Guaraji in Igabi local government and Maraban Kujama in Chukun local government area of the state. Speaking at the groundbreaking of the road construction in the state, Governor Obasani said road projects are key in his administration to bridge the gap between the rural and urban areas. He added that the construction will boost the economy, create employment to the team in youth and women, as well as curb insecurity. Construction of the 35 kilometer road from Garden Gayan to Guaraji to Kujama Junction. Linking Igabi and Chukun local government through the provision of good road networks. Igabi and Chukun local governments have huge agricultural potential. We are committed to giving our local farmers the necessary support required to boost their yields and market their products. We want to bridge the gap between the rural and urban areas. We want to make rural life a pleasurable experience. That is why we are pursuing our rural transformation agenda with zeal. During the construction of this road, there will be job opportunities for skilled and unskilled workers. When the road is completed, travel time from the two local governments and other parts of Kornosel will be shortened. Governor Sani explained that the six kilometers signboard Juji to bypass road in Sabon Tasha, which was abandoned over 10 years, and all the roads were to be completed within 12 months to fulfill his campaign promises of taking government close to the people and give every community a sense of belonging. In Sabon Tasha, precisely where I was really touched when the chairman of the local government openly said that uh, this is the first time in many, many years they are experiencing a project of this kind that will certainly affect the lives of the people in Chuku local government. It also will improve the economic uh, prosperity of the people of Chuku local government. And of course, uh, that road in Chukun is very, very important road. If you know Southern Tesha, you know it's a densely populated area with a lot of people in that area which find it extremely difficult to move around because of the nature and the situation of the road. But I'm happy today we have done the groundbreaking, and uh, of course all this project will uh, perform the groundbreaking. Today we have uh, made it clear that the projects will be completed by the grace of God this year. And some of the residents in Sabon Taja in Chile local government areas expressed the light saying they have not felt government presence over many years, adding that this will bring development in communities. I don't know how to appreciate the governor. All my prayer is that may God give him more wisdom to go with the Chikun people because we are back. We want to work with the government now. We are back. We are back. We are together with them. And with God, I know, we will move forward. This road will really benefit the members uh, of this community because it is a major road that uh, is uh, linking to the main road there. And um, there are so many uh, 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 schools, there are so many uh, uh, companies and people are moving down to their residence. Uh, I think, uh, I think that, that's, uh, that's the way people benefit from this, uh, from this uh, construction. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.